Part one of this vlog ended when the Pacific Encounter arrived in Brisbane. After two nights on board, it was time to fly to Newcastle so I could finally meet the Coral Princess. If you missed part one, you can watch it by clicking the card above or the link in the description below. P&O operated shuttles between the new International Cruise Terminal and Brisbane Airport, which is a relatively short 15 minute drive away. For the short jaunt south to Newcastle, I booked a Qantas Link flight. Before that though, I had one important job to do. I found a bench and a PowerPoint and got to work finishing off the Pacific Encounter ship tour. It's time to fly to Newcastle. I managed to upload the video to YouTube using my phone's internet connection and it went live just as boarding was called. I had never flown on a Qantas Link flight so was curious to see what it would be like. Pretty uneventful actually, which is probably a good thing on a flight. I did enjoy the distant views of Queensland's Gold Coast. Qantas includes a small snack with their fares and today it was Lamington Bites. Tasty. Honestly though, I could only think about Princess Pizza, knowing I would be enjoying a slice or two tomorrow. Coral Princess had only one port of call on its three night cruise to Sydney and as I had missed the departure in Brisbane, Newcastle was my only opportunity to rejoin this cruise. It was necessary to spend the night in Newcastle and after a busy couple of days, I decided to try one of the newest hotels in town, the Crystal Brook Kingsley. This cylindrical building offers luxuriously modern rooms and I highly recommend to stay if you're ever in Newcastle. I've checked into the Crystal Brook in Newcastle, which is apparently a new hotel that is in a civic center that used to be a civic center. It's very unique, very cool, really nice actually. And just decided to have a very easy going night. So going to go now and have some sort of an early dinner and uh, very excited to get on board Coral Princess tomorrow. That's what I'm hanging out for. So now I just need to count down the hours until I get on board Coral Princess. But first it's food time. The hotel's central location meant it was as simple as crossing the road to find popular casual eatery Milky Lane, where I enjoyed a burger and maybe a Corona. The good kind, not the type that stops a planet. An early dinner turned into an early night, but the anticipation of the next day was just too much for me. It's the morning of the Coral Princess's arrival in Newcastle, and in typical Adrian fashion, I didn't sleep particularly well last night. That's fine. I'm excited. And I'm taking a walk down to the Newcastle waterfront to see if I can spy Coral Princess coming in through the port entrance. So we're going to see if I can see her coming through. It's very exciting. I've been wanting to get on board this ship for such a long time. So it's a very good day. Coral Princess has pulled into the harbour and she's stationary at the moment. She was originally scheduled to arrive at 7am but they've changed it to 8 and it's currently just before 7am. She should be going to the port to be there by 8 and I'm hoping to be on board later this morning. Fairly soon after that the ship began to spin and for a hot second I panicked thinking she was about to set sail out of the harbour without me. I realised pretty quickly that she was in fact backing into the dock for a stern first berthing. Time to go to the cruise terminal. A 10 minute taxi ride was all that separated me from the Coral Princess. Seeing a ship you're about to board is a feeling that will just never get old. Finally, after all this time, I had my medallion. I've just boarded the Coral Princess and I've filmed a short room tour of this mini suite, which will be on the channel very soon. That was an interesting arrival. I've never joined a ship while it's already been on a cruise before, so that was a little bit different. Uh, there were a lot of people involved in the process and we had to be sort of checked in and scanned through, especially here at Newcastle Port, which is an industrial working terminal. So there's a few extra layers of security as well. So what would normally take place inside the terminal happens next to the ship, but we got on board, went through security and that was that, all done. Very simple and easy ultimately but just a different experience. So if you do ever join a cruise ship while it's already on its cruise, it's gonna be different. 
<laughs> now that I'm on board, I have about 20 hours to enjoy the cruise ship. So I'm gonna continue to enjoy this strange little trip and go and explore the Coral Princess. I had decided that I just didn't have ample time to film a tour of the ship. So after checking out the room, it was straight to the pool deck for a morning coffee. Okay, a late morning coffee. <clears throat> In the cruising community, Princess is well known for their poolside pizza offering. Made fresh right in front of you, the pizzas are piping hot, cheesy, melty deliciousness. They're also complimentary. My Italian ancestors would probably scoff, but I opted for a slice of the classic Hawaiian, pineapple and all. Afterwards, it was over to the conservatory to play a game of ping pong. Turns out I'm really bad at ping pong, but what I am good at is trying new technology. Onto the medallion app, I placed my very first order for a beverage. And here it comes. Minus the olives, but I'll give it a pass. By now, it was actually lunchtime, and so it was off to the Horizon Court, the buffet. The layout reminded me of the old Sun-class ships, with stations offering different types of food. I opted for a selection of smaller plates and a salad, Everything was super fresh and tasty. Well, combined with comments on social media about how much some of you were looking forward to seeing a ship tour of Lady Coral and the fact that old habits die hard, well, I began to film a ship tour. Plus, it was a great excuse to explore almost all of the ship. If you've watched the tour, you might have noticed that it seems to span from day to night. And that's because the more I filmed, the more I decided I had to get as much of it captured as possible. And time just got away from me. Pretty soon, it was time to depart Newcastle and set course for Sydney. Though part of me was sad that this short trip was already coming to an end, it was hard to ignore the spectacular beauty of the sunset sky and the buzz of the pool deck. Though I do enjoy the main dining room on Princess Ships, ever since my last cruise on the Golden Princess in 2019, I had been wanting to go back to Sabatini's, the Italian specialty dining venue on board. The meal began with a lush cheese fondue. Salt and pepper calamari was next with a crispy, perfectly seasoned coating. Ribbons of pappadelle pasta with beef ragu made for a filling main course, while dessert was an epic sweet delight. By now, it was close to midnight, and whatever energy a few espresso martinis had provided me with throughout the day was clearly zapped. It was time for bed, but not for long. Though we weren't scheduled to sail into Sydney Harbour until after 6am, I was woken by the lack of movement and knew we had already entered the harbour. At 5.30am, I stepped onto the balcony and watched on as Coral Princess slipped silently into Circular Quay and this crazy four-night trip officially came to an end. Well, that brings this crazy four-day trip to an end. It was a lot of fun, it went by very quickly, and I can tell you for sure that one day is not enough time to explore a ship or to get the feeling of being on a cruise. But I still enjoyed uh, getting on board Coral Princess, and I'm glad that I could do the one day. One was better than none, I can tell you that much. Keep an eye out for the ship tour, and I'll be making a video about medallion technology as well. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed following along. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. And if you are looking to book a cruise, you can head to my website, thecruiseandtravelguide.com.au. Thank you very much. Stay safe and I'll see you soon.